हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज शशांक शेखर मास्टर टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एट वेदांतु वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग सॉल्यूशन फॉर जी एडवांस ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन पेपर वन फॉर दिस वीडियो अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रायोरिटी इज टेकन फ्रॉम द पेपर इट्स अवर लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम इट सेज देर आर थ्री बैग्स बी वन बी टू बी थ्री एंड देर सर नंबर ऑफ बॉल्स इन दीज बैग्स बैग वन कंटेन्स फाइव रेड फाइव ग्रीन बॉल्स बैग Two contains three red, five green. B three, whereas contains five red, three green balls. Right? The bags B one, B two, B three have priorities three by ten, three by ten, four by ten, respectively of of being chosen means. Uh, okay, so we would uh, choose any one bag at a time. So these uh, the events of cho uh, choosing bags b1 b2 b3 are mutually exclusive and exhaustive also so obviously the sum of their probabilities must be one here same is the case 3 by 10 plus 3 by 10 plus 4 by 10 is one okay let's see what it says for the a bag is selected at random and a ball is chosen at random from the bag chosen bag then which of the following options is are correct uh, more than maybe one option can be correct more than one option maybe correct so uh looking at the option they ask about usual things uh, you do these kind of problems very frequently in the chapter priority so it's not uh, a tough task to find to track the correct option so probably that the chosen ball is green given that selected bag is b3 okay so it is nothing but uh checking the bag b3 only so we need not to check b1 or b2 here equal 3 by 8 we'll see with uh, is it 3 by 8 or not option b probably that the chosen ball is green equals 39 by 80 okay so green ball can come from bag 1 bag 2 or bag 3 so we'll have to go through total probability theorem here in this case and uh, option c probably that the selected bag is b3 given that the chosen ball is green so final ball color of the final ball is known to us so we'll have to go back finding the probability of some past happening past event on the basis of final result known to us so this is according to reverse condition probability bayes theorem we will apply to get this probability option in option d the same thing thing is asked um probability that selected bag is b3 given that chosen ball is green equals 3 by 10 if you make a simple t diagram right so let's see how can we find it easily right so i am seeing the entire story i would like to make a t diagram which will show each and every events and sub events and with their probabilities so bag selected can either be b1 or b2 or b3 isn't it and in every option green ball was under consideration so let us take capital g as the event i am naming uh the events b1 b2 b3 and g here g represents the event that the green ball is taken from the bag okay so bag b1 to be chosen probability is 3 by 10 bag b2 again 3 by 10 and bag b3 it was 4 by 10 it is given in the problem and from the bag b1 if bag b1 was uh, chosen what is the probability that the chosen ran uh, ball is green so in this case we'll see there were there were five green out of total 10 balls in the bag given five red five green so it must be 5 by 10 right for a green ball to be taken from bag 2 uh number of green balls in the bag 2 is 5 total number of balls is 5 3 plus 5 8 so it must be 5 by 8 and from b3 three green balls were there 3 by 8 so uh, we can find everything every part of this uh, question i mean options easily using the this tree diagram so coming to the option a probably that the chosen ball is green given that the selected bag is b3 equals 3 by 8 so it is nothing but 
here in this case uh, representing what bag three watches in is given to us this is given to us so taking green from bag three what is the probability three by eight is correct so it is simply asking um, I mean the event the probability of taking green ball if it is given that bag three is chosen so it is uh, representing nothing but the number of green balls in the bag three upon total number of balls in the bag three so it is three by eight so option a must be true right coming to option b probably that the chosen ball is green so we need to find so green can come from bag one bag two bag three so probability of green ye, uh, this was option a is correct now coming to option b option b i am writing c uh, probability of green ball so green can come from b1 so might be b1 was taken and green was selected given that b1 was taken similarly b2 p of g upon b g given b2 plus b3 so it is uh, due to the total probability theorem we will also uh, I mean uh, we can say this is nothing but total probability theorem so we will find here these respective probabilities so it can easily be tracked from this tree diagram p b1 is 3 by 10 p g by b1 is 5 by 10 p b2 is 3 by 10 so this is the second path middle path okay into 5 by 8 plus 4 by 10 into 3 by 8 uh, and uh, you will see that uh, when you calculate it uh, so finally you will get it as yeah um, 800 80 120 plus 270 that is 390 upon 800 that is 39 upon 80 so i think option in option uh, b 39 upon 80 was given so option b is also correct isn't it option c or d for option c or d we need to find probability of b3 given g isn't it so it is reverse condition probability b3 given g option c or d c or d for that we need to find probability of b3 some earlier past event given the final result so we need to use the formula of reverse condition probability base theorem or you can do it in the using common sense that b3 bag 3 was taken <coughs> and uh, green was selected from it green b3 and we need to write all the three possibilities of taking green balls so we can write directly pg here now p b3 was i think just see p b3 was 4 by 10 4 by 10 and when b3 was taken right uh, okay the probability of taking green from b3 is 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 you can write here okay 4 by 10 3 by 8 and finally pg was 39 by 80 so this is 39 by 80 yeah uh, one thing here it should be it should not be 3 4 by 8 it was 4 by 10 so we can easily see the answer to this uh, probability i mean the probability of b3 given green must be <coughs> 12 upon 39 that is 4 upon 39 i think uh, yeah so we'll see 4 upon 13 is given in any of the option is not so none of the option c or d is saying it is 4 by 13 so 
in this manner C or D is not correct. So final answer to this question are A and B. I hope you understood this solution easily described and uh, you may go through the typed solution also. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next question.